Hey everybody, it's Jake and welcome to day 28 of learning to program in Ruby. Today we're going to be going over the Ruby console in SketchUp. The reason we're going to be going over it is to just show you some of the things that we can do with Ruby. So the first thing that you want to do is download SketchUp Make if you don't already have SketchUp on your computer. So go ahead and go to this URL right up here. and I'll put the link down below in the description so you can do that. If this link changes in the future, I'll just go ahead and put the new link in down below. And we will see you back when you have that downloaded. So quickly before we get started, let's just kind of go over why it is that we're covering the uh, Ruby console within SketchUp. And the reason we are is because I wanted to kind of show you what we can do with Ruby for one. And also I wanted to show you a market for Ruby programmers. So this is the extension warehouse that SketchUp has. And this is uh, this is iOS essentially. No, sorry, not iOS. This is the App Store for uh, Apple, right? It's 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 uh, mimicked off that same idea, right? So, Apple creates this platform, which is the App Store and, and the hardware, and people can develop apps, and then they can get a percentage of the sales for those apps. Well, this is the same way with SketchUp. You can imagine that SketchUp, this 3D modeling program, imagine it as your iOS and people can develop these plugins and these extensions for people to download and use within SketchUp themselves. For example, we can just come down here, we can go into rendering, and there's all these different plugins for rendering within SketchUp itself as a program. You'll see what I mean uh, even better once we get started. I think you guys get the general idea of that. Also, if there's an echo, it's because I just got a new place and there's still boxes on the floor and all the sound is bouncing off the walls. So if I sound like Bane, I apologize for that. Uh, it won't be for very long. Let's move on to the tutorial. All right, so you've opened up SketchUp and we're not gonna worry about how to, oh, okay, quickly, I just gotta show you how to orbit. If you click the scroll wheel, you can move around and orbit around here. But that's not important, that's not a, that's not part of our, also if you want to pan, just hold down shift and click that uh, scroll wheel in and you can pan. But that's not part of our tutorial. I'm actually doing a SketchUp tutorial because I, I do SketchUp as my day job and that is actually being planned right now and will be project-based tutorials. So don't worry about figuring all this out. We're doing Ruby programming. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to Windows, Window, not Windows. Uh, we're in Windows, but we're gonna open Windows. Well, I'm in Windows. You may be in something else. Uh, open the Ruby console and we're going to pull this up. And you might, you know, this is different from what we've been doing. So we're not using the text editor and then the command prompt. Uh, but, but, you know, we got to venture out off the lily pad and into the fiery lake, uh, a pond. The first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to mess with uh, this SketchUp and crash it. Oh, well, we won't do that first. Yeah, we're going to type in ui.beep and go ahead and hit enter. And you probably heard a beep. If you're wearing headphones, you'll hear a beep. And that is kind of an error beep. And that is basically commanding SketchUp to have that, um, you know, it'll it'll create that beep and invoke it. And so that is one. Second thing we're going to uh, touch on is the UI.message box. And we're going to hit, uh, what are we going to put inside the message box? We're going to put, um, I don't really know what to put. I was molded by the, I don't know. Let's stick with the theme. Oh, let's create our string properly. I was molded by the night, by the dark, by the night. He wouldn't say night, right? Because it's the dark night. So why would he, why would he use that word? It's by the dark. We'll say that. And then we're going to hit enter you'll see that there's this error that pops up that says, I was molded by the dark. So we're gonna hit okay. It's not really an error, it's just, you know, it's just the, the message. So that is one way that we've got in there. Now, we're gonna actually get in here and, and create some geometry inside the actual SketchUp model. And again, that's why I just, I taught the pan and the orbit feature so that you can kind of see what we've created. All right, so to get in there, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a variable called first point. We're gonna make it a, Array, and we're gonna do, hmm, let's do the first one at zero, zero, zero. Okay, so this will be our first, our first point, which is gonna be this line right here. 
This is x, y, and z. x, y, and z point. So this will be right where they intersect. And then we're going to go ahead and hit enter. All right, now let's do the second point. And we're going to set that equal to pint. Second pint, please. Uh, we're going to set that to 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, and 12. Uh, 12 and set that up there then we're going to do our third point and we will set that equal to 36 72 72 and 108 jeez my typos are bad today. Now what we need to do is we need to call them. So we're going to do model, we're going to target this model and we're going to make it equal to our SketchUp. We're not, well the model will be equal to the SketchUp model that's currently existing. So active and we're going to do underscore model. And then we're going to go ahead and it, it, we're going to it, no, uh, it's a book by Stephen King, but we're going to hit enter. And then we're going to go model and we're going to do dot entities. And again, if, the, if this is just like blowing past everything, just keep going. This is how we learn. We just keep on going. Add underscore line. So this is where we're commanding it to do this. Uh, we are going to add a line, but now we need to select. This, this already exists within this call here. And then we're going to create points. Uh, our first point, our second point, and our third point. We're going to call them out. So we're going to do first point. Second point. Am I killing my keyboard again? Hope not. And third point. Okay, so that's it. We're just gonna hit enter. And you see, if you zoom down here, you'll see that it's created that line. I'm just gonna zoom around her. I don't wanna do anything that's beyond, okay, panning and orbiting move that down you'll see that it has created I didn't want to move that away because it's still looking at it sorry um, so here was the three points that it created I'm just gonna move her okay here was our zero zero point right there see that zero zero this will be our 12 12 point right here it drew that line See here it says entities add line, first point here to there. Then we went to our sec from our second point to our third point. Now that we've got those lines created, I'm just gonna show you real quick. And again, orbiting can be frustrating at first and panning can be frustrating at first. Um, don't worry about uh, checking these. I'm just showing as an example. I'm gonna slide that over so we can still see. See that the, the foot's here, the readout is right here. I'm just going to show you this. Uh, oh, come on, let go. Okay. All right, come up and we'll see that it's nine feet. Nine feet, which is 108, which is our Z, and that is our third point. So that, I hope, I hope that's making sense. So if we come up to uh, this right here, so it says 72, right? And that is our Y. Oh, we got to check our Y right here. Come on out. six feet right there which is 72 inches this is the this was the reference that I made that this is calling out in inches assuming you chose feet and inches instead of metric when the program first started again it doesn't matter this is mainly just to show you how we can use Ruby within other existing programs and how we can actually create programs plugins extensions for other programs and uh, a sketchup is not the only one but uh, this is the one that we're going to cover and we're going to cover uh, SketchUp again, but we're actually going to create a plugin, a complete plugin uh, for SketchUp starting in the next tutorial. I hope to see you there. My name is Jacob Williams, and this is Wild Academy. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will get back to you. And I hope to see you here for the Wild Academy Learn SketchUp tutorial series as well when we actually learn all the 3D modeling and tools. I think you'll really enjoy that. 
I will see you later. Have a wonderful night, everybody. And that's it.